Looniform Guy here, and in this video, we'll be looking at the uh, Lizard SR7240 update changelog 1.1.00. And, and it is as follows added new functions, plow and cultivator, um, and added color settings. Oh, uh, yeah, those are the two things. Uh, there's more to it, really, than what that really says. So, first of all, let's find it under Tools and Subsoilers. And here it is, the SR7240. $10,000 to purchase, 280 horsepower required, 3 meters working width twice, <laughs> and 8 miles per hour of working speed. It is 13 slots on console, 13.97 megabytes to download. So we have roller types, which is purely a visual thing, and it doesn't cost you any money. So pick whichever one you like. I have the double roller one, but you can go with whatever. Uh, here is where the added functions come in. It has a plow function or plow and cultivator. We have one of each, and we'll show you how that all works color base so we have a number of well lots of yellows and some greens but also some interesting uh, chrome colors very nice um, pink chrome uh, let's see here we have gold and uh, light gray oh that's like a black chrome and uh, yes so a, kind of a mix and match um, kind of a hodgepodge of colors uh, color grip rollers uh, same choices here we'll make it kind of make it gray uh, that doesn't really pop green there we go uh, no charge for changing the colors or anything else there's it's straight up 10 grand no matter what you do so that's very nice i kind of like that as an option sometimes to it's like hey i want to make change the color it doesn't cost anything so that's very cool right so <clears throat> this is the cultivator or the plow with cultivator and this is just the plow version so let's hop into this one this one is the uh, base model one just the plow and if we back up and attach it there we go we can see we have lower plow allow create fields yes so you can create fields with this it is works as a plow and as we lower it and drive forward a nice animation there and you can see it has left a plowed state if we take a look at our um, needs plowing so this strip here I I created that it needs plowing it has they both remove that needs plowing uh, state now if we go over to the growth we have plowed so you can see yes it has plowed but one of them is leaving a cultivated state and we're gonna look at that one next this is the one where I have chosen plow plus cultivate and it works in a similar way however it does something a little extra and if we hook it up here and lower it down and drive forward you notice that it is plowing because you can see the plowed state or the plowed the look of plowed ground right here but it also cultivates this back piece now is activated and this actually cultivates after it's been plowed so you also remove the needs plowing you create a uh, you you and it gets well it via plowing uh, but then you smooth out the dirt afterwards and it creates the cultivated state with the back piece so that's kind of neat it's it is going to pull up a bunch of big rocks if you have rocks turned on so just so you know uh the workers uh use it fine there's no issues with workers there's no issues with anything else it has some nice animation on it driving forward a little bit of movement there not a lot it is just pretty much a plow and something to smooth out the plow afterwards or the plowed state afterwards it has a nice animation 
And there you have it. And that's the update to the Lizard SR7 240 by J.M. Garcia. I, I, sorry, I uh, failed to mention that in the at the beginning. So J.M. Garcia is the author of this mod on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.